Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are doing a double-handed race. We raced yesterday. We did well in a lot of places, very badly in other places. Spinnaker stuck up the mast, and then after that, we ended up beating back to a mark that had already been around for half an hour. Uh, so that was a bit poor. Uh, sorry if my voice is a bit croaky. Had a few beers last night. Now, today we're going to try and take you with us around the course. Hopefully this microphone thing here works and uh and you can hear me uh we're gonna get the boat ready uh hopefully we'll take you along for the ride So here we are, pre-start, just got the sail up. Hopefully you've just seen that. Uh, we are keeping our wits about us because there's boats everywhere and the tide is a solution. <laughs> um, gonna have to hold the uh, helm to Chrissy so I can go put the first bark into the nav. Got it, mate? Okay, so we have switched to voiceover mode. Uh, that's right, everyone. You join us in the land of voiceover as we switch to the GoPro mounted on the back of the bus on the push pit. Uh, so let's have a look at this franticness before the start. That is me just checking that the engine is off and the battery is isolated, shoving the prop in reverse so our folding prop folds up nicely. And then we are into racer mode. Uh, we've got a little bit of traveller up there. Looks like we needed some more main sheet on as well. We uh, thought we had a good lane, but it wasn't great with that boat under us. That boat on the right is just tacking on top of us as well. So we've got ourselves sandwiched in a whole host of bad air with nowhere to go, really. Somewhere up there in front of us is a little yellow mark, which we're trying to get round and we can't get up to. That's why that little fella under there with his jib laughing like a crazy man is uh, trying to pinch up underneath us. We're trying to foot for a little bit of speed because that great big thing up there, Whooper, uh, as it's called, the boat name that is, uh, is pouring a whole rain of dirty air on top of us. Uh, so we're trying to have a look around. How do we get out of here? I think in hindsight, we should have carried on and pushed these dudes down there uh, past the mark and then gone for attack and uh, we could have gone where we wanted but we didn't we were in a bit of a panic probably too much beer the night before and um, we decided we need to get out of here early and go the way we want to go so uh, there we go attack ready about Lee Ho all that jazz uh, in theory that guy up there should have been attacking and drawing sails quicker than us but that's probably the best tack we did of the day. Well done, Chrissy. That's a nice trim on there. And accelerate away we go. This should have been good for us. We should be able to foot a little bit and get some speed and get away from this guy. Oh, no. What is that coming in from the right-hand side of the screen? Yes, everyone. It is a starboard tacker. Oh, yes. We are living the tactical dream. That's me saying, hey, man, can we carry on? Let us run our race. You don't need us in the way of you. But he's like, no, dude tack out the way so tack we did uh, and there we go through the tack nice speedy one right let's crack off here and we'll start sailing our own race oh no what's that yep the man that was stuffing at the start uh, decides to stuff us again and uh, that just about completes our tactical nightmare oh but there's the shadow of the boat rolling us to windward the called starboard well done us missed zero everyone else one that's us started all pretty frantic at the start there got the best of starts 
don't seem to be able to get prepared normally all over that sort of stuff. We are now struggling, beating up wind. We're with the fleet, I'll take it. Uh, we have got totally the wrong sail combination up. We've just had 22 knots over the mast. We've got our biggest sail plan that we could possibly have, despite giving it all the chat in the bar last night where we were sailing heroes and we had worked out the perfect combination. But the perfect combination is not what we have. Anyway, on with the truck. You missed us rounding the first mark. We are right on the heel of our competitor. I guess he's a laser 28. I think he's a bit quicker than us and we're a bit behind, but we're a damn sight closer than we were yesterday. So we're in the mix. We're happy with that. So we've been reaching. Chris is doing his best to uh, trim the main there. We are bang on the mark. And if you can see the instruments over there, even though the mark is all the way over there, the tide is shoving us right to left as you're looking at the picture. Um, so we're having to sail away from it quite considerably. Right, let's uh, go and negotiate this a bit better. Have you just seen we've just double tapped because I was a bit of a tool and did not see a dirty great container ship coming. This led to uh, many issues. Double tacking, Gracie being absolutely buggered. Uh, so we are carrying on going the wrong way essentially. Uh, just because we're going to kill ourselves otherwise. Wind speed is just under 24 knots just a minute ago. Still the wrong sail plan up. Down to 18 at the moment, so I need to maximise this and concentrate. See you in a moment. Okay, so it's still blowing dogs off chains here. But uh, took a bit of a hitch away. The ballsy move. Chrissy was pretty adamant it was going to work. Looks like it's bloody works. We've managed to get a jump on the fleet. We're going to have to go for a tap in a minute, so I'm going to put this down. Chat to you in a mo. Uh, so you join us. We have just gone around the mark back there behind that boat, and we are now heading down with these dudes. Uh, this is going to be a procession. Uh, we are going down to the mark, probably uh, about three miles away now. Uh, well, this is us. We're in decent shape. It's our old mucker over there in Tish from Hamble River Sailing Club. We generally tend to duel with, and you may have seen in the video before. Uh, probably at night time, I think we were finishing that one. There's a heck of a lot of boats out here in the Solent today. A lot of boats indeed. And our job is probably not to be uh, filming, but to avoid them. But we'll take them off and see this is for you guys. So we've got an idea where we're going. We are 10 degrees higher than the mark at the moment. Sorry dude! So I'm pretty sure Chris is not going to like me filming this because I'm the one in the dry back here and he's getting drenched up there. Uh, yesterday we shared things around a little bit more on the job front. Uh, today less so. So we are getting near to the end of the race really, the last mark coming up 
uh, where we're going to turn around. Chris is getting the spinnaker ready just in case. This boat is very rock and roll downwind and we're not sure if we can cope with the two of us in this wind strength. Uh, but we're getting set just in case we feel that our kahunis are big enough. So this is us sailing, spinnaker up. We said we weren't going to put the spinnaker up today because it was a bit too sketchy, but true to form, we put the spinnaker up today. Uh, it's pretty nice out here now. Lovely sunshine. Chris is just at the D robe. Fortunately, he left his pants on. And uh, we're starting to make some gains into the guys in front. This boat is a real rock and roll machine when we're going down, though. It's, uh, she rolls left and right. It's a throwback of uh, IOR days and zero form stability. But persevere we are, and uh, chomping along we are as well. 7.3 knots. So I think we just need to soak as much as we can to sort of clip each point. So, well, I think at the moment it is, we've got tide with us, haven't we? Well, I think we just need to get around so that we don't have to jive. Yeah, exacto mondo. So across there, yonder, hang on. Yeah, can I zoom? Zoom, there we go. That's the best zoom you're going to get. Across there, yonder, is uh, the infamous home of British yachting, apparently, Cows. Where uh, Cows Week used to have a thousand boats a year, and now it has about 500. Not quite sure what happened there. But there we go. There's a boat coming towards us. Do you want a picture of that? Here we go. Go for attack. A Holberg Rassi 37. Uh, we might need to concentrate here a bit as well because these guys are trying to come up underneath us. We seem to have a very large thing coming through our course. Uh, Chris is looking at me wondering why I'm saying this twice. That's because I forgot to press record, Chris. Probably have done the whole race. Uh, anyway, here it is. This is us coming up to the finish line, that little yellow dot just ahead. Uh, I think that's it anyway. And then we've got some things over here that we line up with. Finished. Us. Yeah. That's, we finished. So if you heard those hoots, that was us, the first one of them. Uh, we're going to carry on a little bit, so we've got a little bit of water to run off down there, Chrissy, uh, just in case we need to. To go below, no, I'm not going to hold here. Uh, that's us finished. And unfortunately, the tide is now against us to get home, the wind is against us to get home, but it's going to be quicker with, uh, with a sail than an engine. So, okay. we're going to get involved in that now. I really want to get a picture. There we go, that's the shot. That there, that is the thumbnail for the video. Right, signing off these, we've got to get this thing down.